fresh off the press i'm sure some of you who are fashion oriented know this news already but it's absolutely crazy out of the blue i did not expect this one because this guy actually has already another job so i didn't expect him to take another job on top of the other job but i guess you know immigrant mentality and that so as some of you might be aware Heide Ackerman was appointed creative director of Tom Ford recently, just a few hours ago. It's been confirmed that Heide Ackerman will be the new creative director of Tom Ford. Pretty astounding. Um, it's a bit sad for the previous designer. I think, I think was it like Peter Hawkin? I think, I think his name was. He was only in there for like a year. This was after obviously Tom Ford hung up his hat and decided to retire and just live the life of a you know of a of a recluse creative somewhere, giving great interviews and just chilling. But that guy that joined, if I'm not mistaken, was somebody that worked at Tom Ford for like two decades and then only lasted in the big seat for like a year. So it shows how brutal fashion is at the top. The moment you try to be the main person, the moment you try to like, you know, pop your head up from uh, out and under of the industry, you take over and then wow, you get out of a year. So he lasted 20 years in the actual industry working for Tom Ford. But when he was in the big seat, only lasted a year. So kind of felt bad for the dude. I just assumed because it's Tom Ford, I just assumed they were going to go in-house again and just get somebody else from the studio to kind of take over. Um, but I guess now they're trying to maybe revamp and come and, and basically try again with Tom Ford and have it make a big splash again. So we'll be crazy to see what Hyde Aikerman does. Hyde Aikerman, I think if I'm not mistaken, has not been involved in fashion maybe since 2019, 2020, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think his namesake label, I think he shut that down during COVID. I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure what the reason was behind it. I always, I don't really know much about sales, but from just street style stuff, I remember a lot of Hyde Aikerman things, especially some of his menswear pieces, a lot of the trousers, a lot of the shirts. They were very popular with a lot of like influencers and stuff. So a lot of people were wearing them and, you know, he has this really, I think, unique vision of masculinity. It's very sensual. It's very chic very sexy very 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 masculine in his own way but it's just it's just something that you don't usually get on the on the high street with a lot of or no actually on the in fashion in general with a lot of designers so i do like the way that he cuts i do like the way that he's cast i do like the way that he puts his shows together and to be completely honest um especially in menswear we've been missing his voice we've been missing his sensibilities his aesthetic we don't really get that anymore you don't you can't really get it from other designers really for the lack of a better term so i'm happy to see him back i'm not gonna I'm happy to see him back so it is courtesy of gq it says hi to aikerman the new creative director of tom ford um it says hi to aikerman, new creator of tom ford um aikerman's first collection will be shown in paris on fashion week in march 2025 in which so um it is with tremendous pride that i'll seek to honor the legacy of tom ford a man i've long admired and have utmost respect for i am much looking forward to what lies ahead I'd assume every person, anyone involved in fashion, especially if you're a designer, you're meant to have, you're, you must have immense, you know, respect for Tom Ford and what he's done and his legacy and the things that he's been able to do um, when he was at the top of the game. You know, he's, for even someone like myself, I'm just a fucking fan from the outside, but I remember how obsessed I was with Tom Ford coming up, reading every single interview, watching every single interview, consuming all the content. I even went to watch a fucking a single man in the cinema when it came out. Do you know what I mean? And, and I never go to the cinema. So Tom Ford was a real special, I think, to everybody. So I can only imagine how excited Hager, H um, Hyde Aikerman must, must be about this new role. Aikerman succeeds the British designer and longtime Tom Ford understudy Peter Hawkins, who left the role in July. Um, fashion fans on social media immediately rejoiced at the news, as did one very important observer, Tom Ford himself, who retired in 2023. Tom Ford himself says, I have long been a great fan of, 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 of Hyder's work. Wow. I wonder if Tom Ford actually played a role in selecting him for the, for the position. Maybe they realized that Peter Hawking thing, even though it was he's in-house and he's been in the company for a while, maybe he was just trying to... Because I think some of the criticism about Peter Hawking, if I remember, because I, I saw a couple of collections and I just saw him, what he looks like. He was basically trying to emulate Tom. He basically kind of looked like him. He dressed like him. Same glasses. The collections were kind of similar. It was almost like an ode, like a celebration of Tom Ford and his legacy. And maybe what they actually want, they actually want someone to come in with a different sort of like idea, point of view. Um and really kind of imbue it on the brand itself, do you know what I mean? As opposed to just like copying or building upon what he did previously, I would imagine. And maybe now, maybe they thought that would work, right? Just let, Let's just get someone in to kind of steady the ship. But now maybe they want, you know, we'd rather just like try with somebody that has a unique voice um, and then obviously you can carve our own lane in the menswear field because if if he does get it right, if Haider Aikerman does get it right, 
this could be big you know this could be big like i said there's no a lot of designers out there that do what he does very well um tom four says i have a long i have a long great i've been a great fan of Hyder's work um i find both his women's wear and men's wear equally compelling he is incredible colorist his tailoring is sharp and above all is modern we share many of the same historical references and i cannot sorry and i could not be more excited to see how what he does with the brand personally i prefer his men's as great as the women's wear was it sometimes for me anyway because i'm looking at it from a men's point of view it did end up just looking like a women's version of the men's as opposed to its own thing you know i do kind of prefer the men's stuff um added tom ford um added tom ford president and ceo um gulem was that i said gulem jussel said Haider stands out as one of the world's most visionary and inspiring talents of fashion. He draws on this deep affinity for global culture and the arts to create a arresting fashion and memorable emotional connections. He is the ideal steward to usher Tom Ford into the future. In recent years, a Colombian French designer was named routinely and floated for just about every open CD job on the market. Yeah, true, true. Is That's a big point. He has been the one that's been on the lips of everybody in terms of oh, where is he going to go? Recently, if I'm not mistaken, he did get a role at Canada Goose. So I'm assuming, more than likely, I'm assuming Canada Goose is going to go bye-bye. I'm assuming if you get a job at Tom Ford and you get a chance to kind of do fashion again. And this, and I'd imagine the, the, the reason why this would be such a hard job to turn down, maybe let's say Heide Aikerman's namesake label, as much as I loved it and adored it, I never bought anything from the collection itself. I just admired it from afar. So maybe there was a bunch of people like us that did that. And maybe it didn't really sell too well. And maybe it was just like, you know, like most um, things in fashion, it just cost too much to run. And eventually you kind of run out of money, run out of investment. It had to kind of shut it, especially during the pandemic, when a lot of brands kind of ended during that whole time. I think even, I think Dion Lee and a few others um, ended during the pandemic. So quite a few fashion brands didn't survive the pandemic. Makes sense. So maybe this is an ideal situation to come back to because not only do you get to work, you know, on um work for like a what well, a brand that wants to be legendary you get to work with a legendary namesake designer maybe he might consult or give you some pointers who knows but you also get a chance to do fashion and just have it be a job it's not your namesake label do you know what I mean? you're not the one going out there trying to raise investment you're not in board you're not in well you're on board meetings but you're not doing the businessy side of things you're just there to be the creative director and that must be super freeing so more than likely we probably might see the best version of Hader Aikerman here because he's not going to be stretched and, and kind of pulled in different directions. He's just going to be required to create great collections season in, season out and kind of go from there. But I would assume someone like him, maybe the Canada Goose thing was a thing like a, like a stopgap. Do you know what I mean? And now maybe he wants to kind of do his own thing. So let's see what happens. I'm curious to see how it goes. Um, I'm curious to see what he does with the Canada Goose thing. Will he keep doing it as well as the same time that he's doing Tom Ford? Will he eventually drop Canada Goose and focus on Tom Ford with the Canada Goose thing? Or would the Canada Goose people be smart and decide, hey, we want you on board. We want you to fucking lux up and refine what we already have and kind of push us in different markets, push us in different sectors. We're willing to kind of change the requirements of how you work and say, hey, you can basically pick your schedule. You can pick where you work. You can pick where your head office is, where your studio is. Just let us know what you want and we'll make it work. Because in theory, if you're being honest, it actually works for Canada Goose. If they have the Tom Ford designer also designing for them, it makes Canada Goose look good. So they should probably try and work something out and not have him decide, oh, it's either us or them. Because if it is, then Tom Ford is the easiest choice. So congratulations to Haider Aikerman. Honestly, such an amazing appointment. I'm really eager to see him back on the runway or back in the Fashion Week calendar again. I've missed his aesthetic, missed his presence, and I can't wait to see what he does under Tom Ford. Welcome back, Haider Aikerman.